February 1st. It's the first day of February. It's 2-1-21. 2-1-21, right? Oh my goodness. When I think about February, I think about love. Because you know, Valentine is like a couple of weeks away. And um, I think about love. Like, I'm going to tell you a little something. Tell you a little secret about me. I love watching love stories. I love watching movies about how the guy gets the girl, the girl gets the guy, or vice versa. I love, love, love. I love, love. I love, love. And um, what I realized yesterday, I was sitting home thinking, um, and I was thinking about love. Like, what is love? Because a lot of people might not know. Like, it, love might be a, a different meaning for everybody else. But as for me, it was, a, it was a statement I heard, a quote I heard. I can't remember who it's by. But it said, if you love somebody, you let them go. Right? You love them, you love, you love them so much, you let them go. Because sometimes we kind of want different things. And we got we to gotta be okay with that, right? And if you love somebody, if you truly love them, you let them go be happy. Even if, that's not, even, even if it means it's not with you. And I never understood that. I never understood that concept until I had to do it, right? And um, what I realized was, because I, I, got, I got tired of beating myself up, first of all. <laughs> Stuff don't work out is not all your fault, okay? It's not. Like, people just, you, you, your relationship gets to this fork in the road, and it's like, it's, you might go left, they might go right. It's, you know, you want, you want to remain on the same highway, but sometimes that's not in God's plan for you to remain on the same highway. And another another quote I posted last week was, "God will use the people who love you to escort you out to, to escort you out of their lives." And um, what I realized is, sometimes you can be a gallon size jug trying to pour yourself in pint sized people, and it's just it's never going to work. It's just not going to work. It makes no sense, right? I realized that. Um, and this was after the completion of the relationship. Um, there was this incident, and I went to see the person um, out of genuine concern. You know, it wasn't on no, I want you back, I love you, and all that. It wasn't on none of that stuff. It was a genuine concern, a genuine just caring for a person. And I don't think people really understand, I don't think a lot of people understand that you can care for somebody and not want nothing from them, not, not want nothing to do with them, right? And so when I when I was in that room, I felt the uncomfortableness. Like it was other people, their people was in there. And it was this uncomfortableness. And what I realized was a lot of people don't understand the concept of just, you know, wanting to see somebody be well and not want nothing from them, not having any ulterior motives. Because love is a choice. It's not a transactional procedure. It's not, if you do this, um, if I if I love you, then you got to lay down in the bed. If I love you, then you'll give me this money. It's not a transactional thing at all. It's never that. And so what I realized was I made, anyway, in, in that moment, people were so uncomfortable. They were so uncomfortable and I was comfortable because I'm, I'm, I know who I am, right? It took me a long time to get to this point. I know who I am. I know whose I am. And I'm not going to, um, shrink myself to make people feel comfortable i'm just not gonna do that and so in that room i, I realized that nobody knew nobody had that concept nobody and i and i and I, and I, I was okay with that i understood that that's not those were you know i not i wasn't there to intimidate anybody or offend anybody i was there for for genuine concern and i, and I feel like a lot of people don't know what that looks like to, to, to just be genuinely concerned about somebody and not worrying about what people are going to say and what they're going to think because they're going to do those things anyway, right? Never was concerned about that. My concern was, you know what, I want to see for myself that this person is okay because I have genuine concern, genuine care. If you ever loved anybody unconditionally without, you know, wanting or needing anything from them, you wish them well, even if it's not with you period right and I just realized that in, in that moment nobody understood that but me <laughs> and I was okay with that I was okay with that and I'm just thinking about love love like I realized and I, I realized when, when I realized at the end of the relationship that that person could never love me to the capacity that I love them and it would never work 
it's kind of what happens in relationships. You love a person, or a person loves you so much, they just love you, period, right? And you, you're you not reciprocating those feelings. And it leaves the person alone. Like they end, you, And you, you can be in a relationship and feel alone. That was me. I was in a relationship for years and I felt alone because this person could never love me to the capacity that I love them. They didn't know how to. And I was expecting them to give me something they were they wouldn't they couldn't give me. They didn't know how to give me. Right? And that's when I realized that. I realized that. And I realized that a lot of times we're asking people to do things and show us things and give us things that they don't know how to do. That they have never seen. Right? And I met someone during during the time I was just going through the storm. I met someone, a young lady, and she was pouring into me, y'all. She was asking me questions. She was giving me little assignments and stuff. Like, she literally was coaching me. She didn't even know. She was coaching me. And she told me about this book, and it's called The Five Love Languages. The Five Love Languages. And this book talks about the five different types of love. And everybody has different, everybody has different requirements when it comes to love, right? And so my love language, I can't remember all. I think it was agape, and it's, it's so many different. Um, it's like four more. I just know that my love language is um, quality time. I like for, for 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 my loved one to spend time with me, to do things with me, and just you know, just kind of like we just be together. I love 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 that. I really do. That's my love language. And some people love language is acts of service. Like you want somebody, you know, cleaning up and washing your car and doing little things like that. Like that's, you love that. Mine's is quality time. Like I like people to go, my loved one to go to the thrift store with me to do things that I love to do. And I do things that they love to do. And it, it kind of, you know, you go back and forth. And um, what I realized is a lot of people don't know what that is. They just don't. And it's okay. I didn't know. I didn't understand it. And she asked me another question. She asked me, um, who are you? And I couldn't answer that. Because a lot of times when somebody says, ask you, who are you? You say, well, I work at um, I work at so-and-so and I do so-and-so. No, who are you? I'm looking at a comment. Somebody comment on my YouTube, on a YouTube video. Um, so when they asked me that question, it kind of threw me out. When they asked me that question, she asked me that question, I didn't know what to say. And she was like, think about it. And I'm going to write down what, you know, I'm going to write down, you know, how I answer the question. I want you to write down how you answer the question. And so I wrote it down and I, and I, and I read it to her and then she read me hers. And I was like, wow, I'm like trying to compare mine to hers. But what I realized is I spent so much time trying to look for love and find love and all that stuff. To, I, I didn't know who I was, right? And she made me look at, she made me look within myself, right? Because look, I, I am love, right? I'm love. God loves me first and foremost. And so you have to love yourself to that capacity. And you show people how to love you by how to by how to treat you and how to love you by the way that, by the way that you treat yourself. And it was just it was just look here. We we worked together for about maybe like a couple of years or so. And I'm telling you, I know that God just places people in your path for reasons. And she just poured into me. She oh she turned the light bulb on. And ever since then, I just been just man. Listen, you 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 see it. I don't have to. I don't have to tell you. You see it. I just love love. I love love. I really do. But I do understand that sometimes you're expecting people to love you to to give you something to show you something that they don't know how, right? And it's okay. It's okay. And if you love them, if you really love them, really truly love them, you'll let them go. It's hard, but you got to do what you got to do for you. Because all you're going to do is hurt is hurt yourself in the process. And you don't want to keep doing that. These are just, these are just some, some thoughts about love this morning. I'm just, you know, I'm just so um, happy. And it's a choice. When I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror. I love myself. I accept myself. I forgive myself. First and foremost, I'm beautiful. I'm amazing. I'm a winner. Right? Even if I don't win, I'm always going to be a winner. And I'm just embracing everything that, that comes my way. And I'm just so glad to be of service um, to others. So young ladies, you already know, Coach J. Rose, I mean, let the evidence, let, let my life um, 
show you that you know what it ain't over yet right it ain't over yet choose you and love yourself i'm telling you i got a i got a gang of knowledge up in this this head right here and i'm willing to share and help you guys um get to that place in life where you just love yourself accept yourself regardless of whether somebody's in your life or not so anyway let me get off my um get up off that the, the the love the love station until next time you guys have an amazing february 1st black history month hey um you guys have an amazing morning be safe and remember to be kind to one another because you do not know what the next person is going through so until then peace and love happy monday